Hello, it's Mike here from musicradiocreative.com. On this tutorial, I wanted to give you a brief overview of the Adobe Media Encoder CC. This is a little time saver from the Adobe Creative Cloud. Let's head in and take a look at the interface here. Now, this is for you if you're working with video. And just recently on my Mike Russell VIP channel, I have gone into detail on some video and audio editing tricks. But when it comes to the mix down, sometimes you can waste hours just sitting there waiting for something to uh, be complete in Premiere Pro or be rendered in After Effects. For instance, here I've just been working on a, a promo for our conference recently. Uh, it's got loads of moving elements to it. Took me about two hours to render in Adobe After Effects. And then you take the whole of After Effects out of action. You can't do anything. You have to leave your computer just whirring away doing things. And then it struck me that Adobe Media Encoder CC is a fantastic add-on in the Adobe Creative Cloud package. It comes with the, the full package, by the way. So I've got my, um, my project here, and I want to go into the File menu, Export. Instead of adding it to the Render queue, I can add it to the Adobe Media Encoder queue. And what this does is, if it's not already open, it will open Adobe Media Encoder, and then it will take your project and insert it into the Adobe Media Encoder so that you're not using the resources of something like After Effects and Premiere Pro. So once you start rendering or mixing down it's going in the background isn't that fantastic so there we go the Adobe media encoder it's just going to take a few seconds to load into the queue and then I'll be able to start it rendering um, but the best thing here is the presets because you have so many great presets um, that work with pretty much any form of video you want so one that I commonly use and you can see it's already set here it's h.264 um, which is all the kind of web video kind of formatting here um, but the really cool thing is that you can go down on a preset here and you can choose to have YouTube 1080p. That's what I usually go for. They've got Vimeo presets as well. So perfect presets for all of the Facebook there as well, all of the platforms that you might want to publish your video on. Um, but you can swap it over if you fancy something a little more advanced. There's, there's everything, even just the waveform audio itself, if you fancy doing that. So once it's in there, it doesn't have to be one thing. You can load in multiple projects. So I could load in something else from After Effects. I could pull in something from Adobe Premiere Pro as well and then just click the play button and it's going to start doing its magic there in the Adobe Media Encoder CC while you go back into After Effects and do more edits and, and more changes to whatever it is you're working on. Absolute magic. I love it. Adobe Media Encoder CC. I highly recommend that you get your hands on it, have a play with it, and enjoy saving time while you continue to work on video editing. By the way, if you'd like more video editing tips, head over to Mike Russell VIP, where I've just done a whole week on editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Check it out.